So yesterday I was having a conversation with someone and I just really felt inspired to turn on the camera today and start talking about that which we call manifestation. And <laughs> I've, I've come, I have this love-hate relationship with that word. I remember when I first got into this whole spiritual field, right? I, I started my spiritual journey, my awakening and all of those things. And one of the first things I got familiar with was the law of attraction or law of assumption. And it taught me about the process of manifestation. And it's, you know, it's about holding a certain frequency. And then when you're on that frequency, you attract the same things that are on that same frequency. And they're like, oh, it's backed up by science. Like it's not just spirituality. This is quantum physics and all of this. And I loved it. I was intrigued by it. And I was in high school at the time. So I was manifesting good grades, right? I was really holding them in my mind and like manifesting. And it worked up to a certain point. I remember I had this dream. I was living in Amsterdam at the time. I was 17, 18 years old and I wanted to manifest 20,000 euros before my 18th birthday. And so I gave myself four months to do that. And I was a student, I was broke, I didn't have any money. And I remember doing that and sitting down every single day, like writing it and, and doing my affirmations and uh, even writing it, with my, I'm right-handed. I even wrote it with my left hand, you know, cause then you're programming your subconscious into believing that you're gonna do it. And it was my birthday and I, di I didn't have the 20K. And it sort of made me doubt the law of attraction. It really made me doubt this whole process because why didn't it work? What did I do wrong, right? And at that point, I sort of gave up on believing in it. I, I gave up on believing in the law of attraction. Yes, you attract that which you are and um, all of that stuff, but, but for some reason, I sort of neglected it. And I became a coach and started to work in that way and, and it kept on coming back and I, I still have a big interest in this whole spiritual field and so, the term manifestation gets thrown around out there. And what I, what happened for me when I let go of this term and stopped trying to figure out how it works is that suddenly things started to happen in my life that were effortless. Suddenly I started to get results that seemed effortless. It was like I was suddenly getting the things that I truly wanted. I was, I was booking my trips. I was getting my clients. I was, I was doing the work that I wanted to do. I was meeting the people that I wanted to meet. I was living a very, I mean, great life, the freedom, everything with it. And I was like, how did I do that? Because I didn't consciously manifest that. I didn't write a ton of affirmations about how much I really wanted to go to Thailand, Namibia, any of those countries and, and travel there. I, I didn't do that, yet it happened. And I really wanted to do those things. And people started to ask me questions like, oh, it seems like you're manifesting so effortlessly. And I was like, well, hmm. And there were a few things about manifestation that I want to touch upon in this video that, <laughs> that really changed the perspective for me. And to get right into it, one of the first things is that the principle of you're always manifesting. You cannot not manifest. And this is something that, that we've, gotten wrong, especially when we started that spiritual journey, because we learned that we consciously create life. And so we think that we have to consciously do that. But we forget that if we've already been doing this the whole time, not on a conscious level, but we have created our whole reality already. Like it's not that from this moment where you learn that you're the creator of your reality, that you have to start doing that. No, you've always already been doing that. Everything that you've got right here, right now, you already manifested. You created this. You created this video. You manifested me being here in your life, telling you this stuff. Like that's literally a manifestation of yours. And, and how come, how did you manifest this? Well, because this is what you wanted. You wanted this. And so you took the right action. And maybe all of that happened subconsciously, this whole wanting of this. However, it happened. You created it because a part of you wanted it. The biggest part of you. Um, Come to think of it, there's not really parts of you, there's just you uh, and that which you're willing to acknowledge as fully you and that which you are not, a uh, different topic. But the idea here is that you've always been manifesting. And so whenever a guru or whatever type of person tells you like, hey, you have to learn how to manifest better, that, that you don't, you don't have to because you manifested them telling you that. The trick is, and, and where you'll find that your manifestations are really gonna progress in some way, is when you start to focus more on, hey, what is it that I want? 
what is it actually that I want? Because so far, everything you've been manifesting, everything that your life is right now, you created that there. You wanted that there. However, you think that you don't, right? We're complaining about our life. We're complaining about the problems. Uh, things need to be better. Things need to be more. Things need to be expand. All of this. When in fact, subconsciously, you're exactly where you want to be right now. And so the trick about manifestation is not so much about how do I manifest, but like more about what am I manifesting and why? It's all about becoming conscious of what it is that you want. What do you actually want? Not what you think you want. What do you actually want? And that which you actually want, like actually desire, that's here right now. Like you've got that right now. It's your current experience. This, your current experience. You, you want this video right now. That's why you have it. That's actually how it works. On, on the deepest level of your being, you desire to be right here, right now listening to my words, being in wherever you are, feeling the way you're feeling. That's your manifestation. So congrats, good job, like you manifest this. And now if you wanna change this, it's all about realizing what is it that I actually want? What do I want? And from there, you get to decide, ah, that's what I actually want. And then you'll start to see that you start taking action to that thing from within, from the actual, this is what I want. And, and it will be effortless. There's no need to take any action steps that are outside of that which excites you because it's, it's, it's your, your purest desire. Uh, there's this quote that's like, everything that we do is an attempt to improve our state. And this is very biologically, uh, and it's true. Everything that we do, everything that we do is an attempt to improve our state, our inner state, our, our nervous system. Everything that we do is designed to improve that. Whenever we go to sleep, whenever we go stand up to grab water, whenever we do anything, it's all designed to help us out. And so is the rest of life. Every decision that you make is all coming from a place of this is what I truly want. And even, even self-sabotage works in that way because it's not self-sabotage. That's what you actually want. And I'm noticing that I'm drifting off here. Um, so to get back on the topic of manifestation, it all starts about becoming conscious of the realization that you've already been manifesting everything that you want. Because that's, that's right here, right? That's, that's right here, right now. Everything that you've ever wanted is right here, right now. Because if not, it wouldn't have been here. That's how powerful you are. That is how powerful you are. So it starts with the acceptance of the realization that your life is perfect the way it is. And I'm not saying that in a, oh, enjoy the small things. I'm saying that from a deeper perspective, like for you, the perfect moment is right now, because if it wouldn't be your perfect moment, you would have changed it already. So everything that you say you hate about your life, everything that you say you want to change about your life on a deepest level, you don't want that. You don't want that else you would have already done so. And so the acceptance is really the first thing that comes to play. If you want to change your reality, it's about accepting where you are right now and accepting the fact that you're a conscious creator and chose for yourself to experience these exact problems, these exact limitations. The moment that that acceptance really drops in your body, that's the moment when everything will change. And so a little trick here to help yourself with this acceptance. Uh, and this comes after the step of realizing that what you've got right now, you wanted, else you wouldn't have had it. So the moment that you're aware of that, let, let's take, for example, the fact that you're being, let's say you want to make more money. Let's say you, you, you consciously think that you want to make more money. And it's like right now you're earning 2K a month, but you want, wish for yourself and you want to manifest 10K a month and you're at 2K right now. First, let's cut to the bullshit. You don't want to make 10K. That's just what you think you do. What you actually want to make is 2K. That's why you're making 2K right now. That's what you're manifesting. And now how do we change that? Well, we don't, we accept it first. We accept that we actually want to make 2K. Can you accept that? Can you accept the fact that you truly, from the deepest desire in your heart, you actually want to make only 2K a month? And I'm saying only, but it's relative. Um, that you want to make 2K a month. Can you accept that? Sit with that. How does it make you feel? Let's say for the rest of your life, you're only going to make 2K a month. How does that make you feel? What feelings come up? And notice these feelings that come up and, and sort of you can write them down, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Because the next step is about acknowledging this to yourself and admitting to yourself that the way that you're feeling 
about this is how you'd always want to feel. This is your preferred state of being. This is either safe to you, it feels empowering to you uh, to be, for example, a victim or to be in, uh, in trouble or, or, or to be not good enough, all of those things, that's all serving you. And so from there, I want you to admit to yourself that you'd actually rather make 2K a month than 10K a month. So throw away that dream of 10K a month, throw it away, like forget about it, give up. Give up and settle down in where you are right now and feel whatever comes up. And maybe you feel uh, frustrated about making 2K a month. Admit to yourself that that's the way that you wanna feel and accept, like I'm, I'm willing to accept that I enjoy the feeling of fill in the blank. Sit with yourself and accept that. And maybe you'll feel uncomfortable, maybe you'll feel things come up, maybe you feel an itch, maybe you're yawning, maybe, maybe you're, you're tearing up, maybe you're laughing. All of this is all signs that, that something's shifting for you. The moment where we accept that which we have, a lot of things are gonna change. It's, it's literally what it is. And, and there's, this, there's even this beautiful quote, infinite patience brings about immediate results. And that's, that's literally what it's about. Uh, infinite patience brings about immediate results. When you've got infinite patience and really feel like things don't need to change and that they're fine right now, when you've fully accepted the way things are right now, that's when things will start to change. And that, that's how it works because there's, we've, we've simply expanded beyond the point. Um, we're, we're feeling our feelings because they're, um, because it's like we're gathering them. You know, we're, we're trying to gather as many experiences when we're here on earth. And, and that we do that through our feelings. And so we've got a feeling of boredom and we have this on, on infinite levels, we can feel bored. We have anger and we can feel infinite amounts of anger in, in infinite amounts of ways. Um, and it's all super expansive to feel that. And they'll stay expansive the more energy that we put into them. So let's say we're feeling uh, unworthy or we're feeling like we're lacking something. We put a lot of energy into that. And it's like, um, from a soul perspective, we love this, right? Because it's expansive. We're, we're getting to know different ways in which we're, we're feeling limited and like we lack and like we're not good enough and all of those. And it's great. Uh, however, the moment where you start to not put your energy into those emotions anymore and you hold back and you accept everything that is, suddenly your energy isn't flowing into those directions anymore suddenly you're not putting any of your manifestation powers into uh, feelings like lack, feelings like not being good enough, all of those. And that's when you suddenly have space left to expand in a direction that is maybe uh, more to your conscious preference, for example, through excitement. And the moment where we have that energy left over uh, and, and we don't have to put it into other things anymore, that's when we can consciously create more of that which excites us. And it's, um, it's powerful. I, I like it and, and it's, it's really about bringing yourself back to that neutral point of, hey, I'm consciously creating my reality, meaning that if I take a look at what's happening and take a look at what I'm creating, I can see what I'm investing my energy into. And then I can go back in myself and think, hold on, is that what I wanna invest my energy into? First off, I'm accepting that I'm putting my energy into this, that I'm creating my problems. Do I wanna keep on creating these problems? I'm not sure but it's fine that I'm creating them. I'm accepting that this is completely my doing and that's okay. And from that perspective, the problem is gone. The energy is no longer being invested in it because it's yours again, because it's, it's, you've accepted yourself for doing that. And from this position, you get to be like, hey, no, that's what I want. And, and things will start to shift instantly. It's, it's crazy how this works. And this is very much belief work. This is very much shadow work, but this is just powerful overall. Um, this acceptance and, and I believe that working on how well you are at or, or how big your capacity is to instantly accept things for how they are says a lot about your ability to manifest. If you're throwing your energy into all these different types of things and you're, you're completely scattering, that means you're leaking, you're leaking energy. And that's going to make it very difficult to manifest new things because because we have this inherent skill to manifest, anything that we desire can come true like that. It's just that we already put our energy into all these different things. And so the skill to do this 
we don't have it anymore. Or we still have it, but we're not conscious of it because our energy is here, 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 here. And so this power is gone. And the moment where you stop putting your energy there and there and there, you can draw it back to you and you get to use it again for something else. And so the less scattered you are, the better you'll be. <laughs> and you become less scattered by becoming aware of your current surroundings. What am I currently creating? What am I putting my energy into? What am I apparently wanting? Even though we say we don't want it, we wanted this because we put our energy into it. And so can I take my energy back from that and direct it into something else? That's when your manifestation will start flowing. I hope all of this made sense. I know this is a lot of dense information. And, and so it's possible that, you, that you're getting what I'm saying on a soul level, but not consciously yet. That's completely fine. You don't have to rewatch this video. The effect is already there by the mere fact that you've watched this video all the way to this point already tells me and tells your higher self or whomever that this is what you actually want, that you're ready for change. And, and that's the power of even clicking on any video that you're gonna see here on YouTube. You've decided to put your energy into that. And right now you decided to put your energy into something um, that will have a very expansive effect for you. And you did that for the past 15 minutes. And that's awesome. You set something to life by doing that. And now I recommend you to sit down for a moment and not invest your energy into any other YouTube videos, not even mine. And like sit down with yourself and be like, okay, what else am I investing my energy into? What else am I choosing? Ah, the fact that I'm feeling um, bad about my body and my body image, um, all those thoughts, I'm, I'm choosing those. You even chose your body, right? You chose all of that, this whole situation, you chose that to happen. Can you go back and be like, all right, now that I know I've chosen this, I'm accepting this fully. I take my energy back from it and I choose that it's fine. Can you do that? It's, it's, it's a very interesting exercise and it might take, uh, take time, uh, but there'll be a point where you start to realize how this works in a way and, uh, and you'll see floating for yourself. And, and just remember, you don't need to be taught how to manifest. That's also not what this video is about. You need to be taught about <laughs> what you've already been manifesting. You need to be taught to consciously look at your life and realize that those are all manifestations of yours. And even though you might think they're not, subconsciously they very much are. And um, that will change your perspective on life.